This is the third time I've had a go at recording this. That this camera just keeps switching off. So what I've done um, today is I'll chuck it on its side. What I've done today is a bit of an upgrade because um, I went online just to have a look at some stuff, see what I could upgrade on it. Because I know that um, Gabman at Gabman's Workshop he upgraded the bumper spike, the uh, the dog, the bumper spike. Uh, because that's the thing that's on it and it's just a flimsy thin piece of rubbish so that went um, that went straight on no problems um, I also replaced the also replaced the oil the oil cap because no matter how hard I did did up the original it just kept leaking even after I did it up even tighter was sort of scared I was going to break something, but uh, it just kept leaking. So this new one is, uh, it's, it doesn't, it's different. It obviously isn't made by these characters. It's completely different, so, um, but it had made in China, but it certainly looks a lot better, a lot better. So I might actually get a second one for the for the fuel, because that's that one is so good. Um, let's see, what else have I done? Now, with the oil cap, Straight swap with the bumper spikes. Um, they've got a what is this? Is it M6? M8? Something like that. Oh, I can't remember. Um, there's two there's two socket screws that hold that bumper spike on. Now this is this casing is alloy, and man, anything that's soft when you've got people working in a factory for one cent an hour. There, yeah, you're going to have problems now. When I undid those two socket screws on the end, one of them had about eight mil of silver showing because they're black screws, they're black bolts, had silver showing, which tells me that yeah, something was stripping coating or even steel off it somewhere. And the, the thread looked rounded, and sure enough, it was. So I had to employ the die and the tap and just go through the holes again go over the go over those two bolts because i didn't have any replacement bolts because the clearly the grade of bolt that that is is just garbage what i was really fearing was that they screwed up the thread on the inside on this alloy if they screwed that up yeah, game over. well not game over but yeah, real pain in the ass so luckily that wasn't stripped i just uh re-threaded two holes to Two screws and um, yeah, they're all right. So that's something you've got to be really, really aware aware of. And those screws, all these screws, what's the what is it? 10NF32. Yeah. So that's the that's the die, tap and die 10NF32. Um. So that's what I've done. I've upgraded the bumper spike, changed the oil cap. Uh, what else have I done? Make sure that's still recording. Uh, that, that's about it. Um, I'm keeping every everything that came with it. I'm keeping everything except the earmuffs and the eye protection. They're, they're just shit, you know. I haven't had it in the bag because of that leak problem. Otherwise, I would have ended up over a few days or a week or whatever. I would ended up ended up with a bag of oil. So. Hopefully now, now I can see that that there's just no oil coming that, out of that at all. So that looks fixed, unless the level has dropped that far down that um, it can't leak out. I'll top it up and I'll uh, have it upright and just see what the go is. Uh, is that oil leaking out of there? No, not really. So um, as, again, I haven't um, put it through its paces. I, I, uh, I waited till I got that gear. And put it on. I was hoping to get another handle, but I'm gonna. Have, looks like I'm gonna have to get a genuine husky handle because the replacement ones for these, the aftermarket ones, they look just as crap. Um, because these two aftermarket parts, are both made in China, they're better, but yeah, they're still Chinese. So 
But my advice again is with the toolkit, get yourself a three mil and a four mil hex key and a medium screwdriver because you're going to need them. And you're also going to need, at some time, you are going to need an M, M8. Yeah, an M8. Um, because like, some of the screws, oh, some of the nuts um, are M8 nuts. So, uh, all right, now, so I haven't, haven't run it since the last time. Um, yeah, hopefully, uh, in the next few days, I'll, I'll give you a bit of a, I'll give you a bit of an update as to how it's going. And, uh, but up till now, yeah, everything's fine. It's, it is quite tight. Like, yeah, it is quite tight, but, um, it's brand new, you know, brand new. So, yeah, until I run it in, a bit of, you know, a bit of wear on it take all the sharp edges off because it is Chinese and it's going to have sharp edges everywhere. So until I've done that, see you later.